I think I found it. All right. I think I found the best name for Elementor in WooCommerce. Now, I know this is a really bold claim, but after using several themes and my usual go-to themes and building many, many sites on WooCommerce with Elementor, I believe what I found is the best name currently for Woo and L. Now, I'm not a sponsor or an affiliate or working with a theme in any way. My purpose behind this video is to help other Elementor users. This theme has helped me so much, not only sped up my workflow, but has allowed me to build far better and more polished e-commerce websites. And I wanted to share this with everyone out there because I know this will help others as well. And the theme that I'm talking about is the Ray theme. This is a lightweight theme dedicated to WooCommerce websites and built with Elementor. And really quick before we get into the raid theme, if you do like this video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. The support really helps out. I appreciate it. And I'll continue putting out Elementor and web design related content. All right, to the raid theme. I've always been hesitant whenever using a new theme. Uh, that comes with a lot of features and pre-built stuff in it is because I don't like the bloat and the heaviness and ever since I started using Elementor I feel I could do anything with just Elementor and a blank theme and Since I got Elementor I have not gone back to theme forest and all those bloated themes The problem is there are things missing that are needed to build a really proper and professional looking e-commerce website. And I'd usually have to use a bunch of extra third-party plugins that I didn't want to use and do a lot of custom coding. And if you're not a coder or don't want to use custom code or to buy and add all those plugins, well, that could be a challenge making a website or e-commerce website that looks Good, that looks like a professional e-commerce website and we can tell the difference. But what this theme brings to the table is it has a dedication to WooCommerce and Elementor. It is solely focused on just those two and it is done lightweight and it's super juiced up. It is beefed up with just features just for Elementor and WooCommerce. Here are a few of the highlights and what I mean by dedication to WooCommerce and Elementor. First up, there's a proper menu for e-commerce. The menu builder is done with Elementor and has the right options for an e-commerce website. And the mobile menu, it's legit, something that is usually an afterthought on all Elementor menu widgets. Next up, the customizations and flexibility. This will take time learning because there are so many options. If you look at the WooCommerce tab in the customizer, it has an extensive list of options. Normally, this is where I need to add custom code, but everything here is so well thought out, I'm able to achieve what I'm trying to do without the need for coding. There's also something called global sections, which to me, they're kind of like hooks. They could be used several different ways, I use them to add Elementor sections to product pages and customize a product page without losing the features of the main product section. But I know so much more can be done with this function. Next up are the widgets. Ray comes with its own widget library for Elementor and these widgets are good. In fact, they're even better than most third-party Elementor add-ons that I've used. And next up. This one here is super important, it's a performance. So right off the bat, I was impressed with the speed and responsiveness when I installed the theme. Normally, this is where I feel the slowdown, but I was super surprised how snappy it was. Also, the developer did something I have not seen any Elementor add-ons do. Not only can you turn off widgets not being used to prevent the code from loading, there is a scan function that when selected, scans the website and identifies the widgets that are turned on and not being used. This is super helpful and shows that this theme was developed with performance in mind. I hope other developers start doing this as well. Next up are the growing features. I'm the type that likes to read the change log before updating. I like to see what's being added and what's being changed and what new features are coming to plugins when I update them. And in the last few months while working on projects with Ray, I have seen some amazing features added inside every update. Features like built-in wish lists, so no need for a third-party plugin, and several added options to widgets inside every single update. I get excited for these kind of updates. 
and the last one this is the cherry on top right here and that's support i have to give a huge plus for the support the developer marius he's active and on top of it he's also really cool which to me is a big deal because it's frustrating when support is not being helpful or even polite or pleasant to talk to there were a few times i had to reach out for support because some of the sites i built with ray are really complex using wpml with several different languages and customizations and marius the developer he always responded immediately and was quick to react all these reasons are why i had to make this video this theme has done very well for my projects and my business and i wanted to share it with you because i know it could help many elementor users out there as well so let me know what you think what is the best elementor and woocommerce theme let me know drop it in the comments also if you've built a website with the ray theme drop the link in the comments too let everyone see how dope your website is if this video helped you make sure to hit like and subscribe to the support really helps is much appreciated and i look forward to bringing more elementor and web design related content all right thanks Thank <laughs> you.